decided on a new project. I'm gonna take this rotary table apart, make it nice. It's already okay. It's already fairly nice. Um, I'm gonna make it better and I'm gonna turn it into a dividing head as well. So the first part is disassembly. I've been doing some basic indication here on the main casting just to sort of see where it is and also with the table here um, and actually it seems that the the parallelism from the top to the bottom is actually very good um, probably about two or three tenths uh, maybe a little more than that I guess it depends where we're at on the casting we're measuring. So let's say maybe about five to seven tenths total. Um, but I did notice uh, when I checked squareness, um, that's actually out quite a bit more, just over uh, an inch. It's out about a few thousandths. Um, if I zero my indicator on this block, I know the block is square, and then I hold it tight up against that bottom face, and then just take it across. So here, the indicator is reading about a thousandth of an inch when it's registering off of that surface. So all in all, that's not terrible, but I'm definitely going to fix it. And then when you put the table in here um, and indicate off of the surface of the table as it's resting on this surface here, um, it runs out up to two thousandths or so. So that tells me that um, this surface is not parallel, so that will also have to be fixed. I sort of came up with a game plan here. I'm actually just checking the machine out to make sure that not only can I swing this casting, um, but that I can get a tool to reach it where I need to. So I, I just positioned it in the chuck, um, which anytime you're doing something that's pushing the limits of the machine, it's probably a good idea to check that kind of stuff. But to actually do the machining on this, I'm gonna make a mandrel um, and hold the mandrel in the chuck and then fasten through the center uh, the casting to the mandrel. And then that way, I know that any machining I do will be true to that mandrel. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to bring the parallel in as close to perfect as I can. Um, and I'm also going to skim this bore in here to be concentric perfectly with the bearing journal, which is what I'm actually going to be registering on with the mandrel. Um, and then eventually I'm going to make a sleeve for the table. Um, but that's going to be further down the line. But the first step is going to be on the lathe. Bringing the parallel and the bore in. And then on the mill, I'll be able to make this surface square. So here's the fixture. The uh, casting is held in place. And what I found out through some indication is that 
the bore for the bearing is nowhere near square to the top surface so I'm not surprised um, so it looks like what I'm going to do here is just use the bore now as the reference surface and true the face up to the bore um, and then counter bore like I said I was going to do and then I'm going to flip it chuck it in the four jaw and indicate it from there to finish the other side up all the way and I bored it all the way back to just clean up so whatever size that is I'm going to make a bushing for the table to be a nice uh, rotating fit in there so I'm just going to chamfer this a little better and then it'll be on to the other side